Hello, my beautiful Leo. I cannot wait to get into your reading. We are looking at August 2023 for Leo. We have you Leo placements or you're cross watching. You're all welcome as we tap into the energy of Leo. Please keep in mind this is a timeless reading. Um, although I am recording this for the month of August 2023 for the collective. So we'll take a look at the overall energy, what you don't see coming, any challenges, opportunities for Leo, and then advice from spirit. Spirit, clear and concise here. Message for Leo. This is the overall energy here for Leo. We have the Ace of Wands, the Moon, and the Three of Pentacles. And what they don't see coming. What they don't see coming. We have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, or sorry, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, and what is the challenge? No, sorry, opportunity. What is the opportunity here for Leo? What is the opportunity for Leo? We have the Queen of Cups, Strength, and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, and what is the challenge? What is the challenge? Too many cards, Spirit. Can we get a challenge here for Leo for the month of August? What is the challenge for Leo? We have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Of the wands, okay, and then the advice here from spirit. Let's see, advice from spirit. We have the six of pentacles, the fool, and the judgment. I feel a hair on me. All right, before we get into your tarot, Leo, we're going to pull an oracle card here to see what sort of energy is spirit wanting you to embrace for the month of August. We have a fog here. Okay, so I think spirits are really coming through with things that have been very unclear and you can't really see your way. So it's almost like embrace the fact that you don't see what the outcome is here. Like if we start to ha um, get fixated on the fact that we can't see, we might get lost or stuck. So it's almost like embracing the fact that maybe we don't see right, right, um, down the road, but we could see in front of us only. And so we're not quite sure we're second guessing here, but there's a need to kind of understand that sometimes we have to navigate through the fog without knowing. So it's kind of the energy that I'm getting here for August. So I don't know, you're probably like, Oh my God, I don't want to be in the fog here. Cause I might've been in the fog, but look, your overall energy, this is fog energy. Okay. You have the moon right in the middle and we have the ace of wands, the moon and the three of pentacles. So, Okay, this is actually quite positive. I feel like you're really inspired. You have a very good energy here. I mean, obviously you're Leo, <laughs> I'm a Leo moon, so I can definitely resonate with the fired up energy here. Like you're, you have a drive, you have a passion, you're like really wanting to move towards something here, but I feel like you're not quite sure how. Yeah, there's like a fog here because there's lots that are outside of your, um, outside of your ability to control here, right? So it's like, how are other people going to show up? Like you're at the mercy of collaborating or working with another or like showing up, but then there's another um, energy here, entity that also needs to show up or collaborate. So it's unknown. It's like, I don't see, I can't see it. It's unknown to me whether they are or not. And you could be um, allowing this to, you know, um, get you in your head and start fearing what if this energy, I show up and this energy does not, but that's not what I feel at all. I feel like you're just like fired up here. You're fired up here and inspired just to move forward despite uncertainties. You're not getting stuck in fear. So it's exactly the energy spirits are wanting you to embrace. It's like embrace this fog, this period of uncertainty of whether someone will, can, does contribute shows up puts an energy co cooperates okay um i still feel like you're you're really driven here and inspired and an inspiration i just heard too which is pretty cool okay so 
Now, what you don't see coming, we have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Wowzers, is this you? Mm, um, okay, let's see. This is interesting because Four of Swords is where we're healing from something. Like, I feel, Leo, you probably had a rough while here, okay? You might have experienced a Three of Swords here, which is, you know, it's experiencing sadness and heartache and separation and needing to heal from something here and dealing with truth so maybe you've been kind of removed here which would explain why we see now this ace of wands is because maybe you've been really focused on your healing but what you don't see coming here is look at this forward movement okay this is forward movement and it's pentacles and cups which are two of the slower moving knights here so i think it's something that's been moving very 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 slow so you don't see coming now, it could be that, okay, so I'm getting for some of you guys, because this is a third or a third, another energy here, okay, working with somebody to build something, a third entity, so build a relationship, build, create a business, um, come together to, yeah, just be successful in building something with another by working together. So I feel like whoever might have been removed or not maybe or maybe you didn't see whether this person was engaged or not engaged and it could very well be your own energy here because they've been withdrawn or healing i feel like there's movement here okay there's movement and i feel like there's an offering here and there's an offering and i see the offering here in pentacles and in cups so what this tells me is if you were recovering from something here if you were taking some time you're now fired up to say, you know what, I'm going to move forward towards my passion, towards making this happen, no matter the fact that it it's, might have taken me some time here, okay, uh, and no matter how slow, but I feel like there is movement forward, and if this is someone you were involved with that was kind of removed, I feel because what you don't see coming here is there is movement here, okay, although it is slow, but I feel it was slow going, but I feel like seeing it twice here is like, this is an, a very solid offer. You know, when the Knight of Pentacles comes in with an offer, this is a solid, honest offer. And I feel it's coming from a heart place, okay? This is like romantic. Um, this is like love. This is passion. And I feel um, dreamy, true. And I feel like there is something that is practical here, but then also something here that is from a loving place. So... I don't think you're expecting this um, either which way, whether that's coming from you or not, because I don't think you see that yet, because remember, you're kind of in this fog energy. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at your um, opportunity. Queen of Cups, Strength, and the Ten of Pentacles. Opportunity. So, interesting, Leo, here you are with the strength. The strength is all about our inner courage. This is about finding it from within ourselves to, you know, um, despite us being in fogs, despite what has happened, us finding this again, finding our spark, finding our, our inspiration. So I feel like your opportunity here is to find your courage, find your strength to tap into that heart space here. Um, the Queen of Cups is the most compassionate queens here. She's the most loving, emotional, um, creative, intuitive energy here. So I feel like you're finding this within you in order to, or your opportunity to find this within you. Um, and maybe, like I said, if you guys are resonating as you being extending this cup of love here in the what you don't see coming, your opportunity here is to support that you know, to extend that cup of love and to support it here or to receive it because we don't know if she's giving or receiving still here. Your opportunity is either to take that cup, find the courage to take that cup, or find that courage to offer this cup despite maybe not knowing, you know, not seeing an end result here. But I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is also talking to me about how long this has been taking because Ten of Pentacles is a very, very, very long time and this is the slowest shit night that takes forever to move, okay? So... I think something's been really slow. And I mean, even the Knight of Cups moves fairly slow too. So something's been moving really slowly here. And yeah, I just feel like there's there needs to be facing your own courage and strength to either receive the cup or offer the cup here. 
despite how long this is taking because I feel like this is something really solid here. Okay, something solid. And the fact that we were seeing the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles, I feel like this is something that could stand the test of time. This is like building something with another here that we couldn't on our own and it could very well be our legacy. Okay, family, retirement. This is like, you know, um, building like generational wealth here. So that's interesting. Um, what we see for your challenge though, we see the nine of wands, the 10 of wands, and then the eight of wands. Okay, I see exactly what's going on here. Wow, you guys are strong, Leo. Like you guys are so strong. I can't even feel like crying here, okay? Um, it's getting very emotional, but nine to 10 to eight. So I feel, and this is so such a long, lengthy process. I feel like maybe you're in a nine of wands for quite some time, you know, like this is the wounded warrior and it's like spiritual um, because I feel like the wounded warrior goes through a spiritual warfare here and he's about to break, but he's persistent in battle here because he doesn't throw in his towel just yet, although he is definitely on the verge. And I say he, but doesn't necessarily need to be whatever you are leo here divine masculine or feminine but it's like the nine of wands like we're we're so hurt where it's like if we go into battle and we get hurt again like we're just gonna experience you know a, a ten of swords i mean the ten of wands um so we might be just like in this energy protecting ourselves healing reflecting trying to get a breather and be like do i throw in the towel is this even going to be worth worth it risk it like what do I do and then after that you experience this okay so your challenge is I think you've experienced this I feel this is passing energy or you might be experiencing this right now the ten of wands is like the, the final one that broke the camel's back okay so you were in a nine for a long time this took persistence and maybe you're persistent and then you were dedicated to keep on going and how you were re rewarded was a ten of wands which was you falling apart here like something being a very heavy burden and so i feel like what the challenge is for you guys leo is you coming out of that burden you coming out of something that you experienced that was very painful and heavy to carry and it might have ended whatever in you that last little bit but having a breakthrough in communication and i feel like a breakthrough here is coming from your own willpower your own strength to still find this after experiencing this, okay? Like not a lot of people can do that. And that's that fog. It's like, I've gone through the nine and the 10 of wands where everyone would just, that's it. Like they're just done um, because they've experienced something here that broke them. It's ended them. It's no longer, yeah, it's no longer a fight. Like you were, you went into battle again and you were just like, held captive here and like the bad guys or whatever one so for whatever reason here you're able to have a communication here and still be able to find a spark within you to move beyond this move beyond this um to have a breakthrough moment i feel yeah and it's take a lot of courage here okay because i feel like yeah you don't see you don't see what the results of this could be. It's almost like you're negotiating here with your captors. You're negotiating here with the battlefield. It's like, okay, like they have their sword pressed against your neck here, you know, and you're, you've lost the battle essentially. And you're like, hey, wait a minute, guys. Like I have, you know, a bag of gold there <laughs> um, that I could show you or go get for you. Like you're still, you're still fighting here. You're still fighting here. You're still fighting yeah uh, and i don't know why you need to fight you know i just feel like it's exhausting here but i feel like this powerful energy coming from you guys and such a beautiful heart space here but again what you don't see coming at the two knights knight of pentacles knight of cups so let's see what is in your overall energy let's get uh clarifying here the ace of wands the moon and the three of pentacles let's clarify for leo we have the page of wands the king of pentacles and the hierophant Ole to mole. all right so we have earth energy virgo taurus capricorn coming out here um page of wands king of pentacles and the hierophant this is about commitment 
okay, this is family, this is commitment, and look, this is like committing to working with someone here, okay? So <clears throat> I feel like communication about commitment, and it could very well be you communicating what your own level of truth is here to what you want to commit to and build for yourself. This is our higher truth, our learnings of what we believe to be true and what we value, what we kind of want to be secure to and commit to here and give ourselves to. And I feel like, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm still under the weather. I feel like because this is clarifying your <coughs> overall with the Ace of Wands, this is you. From that nine, you, the nine of wands turned into a ten of wands. You took that extra ten of wands where you could have just gave up and white flagged it. You take that extra wand that breaks your back essentially here. And you take it and this is like inspired movement forwards and making something happen here. Setting on a journey and I feel like you're inspired here. You move forward here with what you want to see for yourself. What you want to commit to yourself. And I feel like it's a conversation here a movement a breakthrough towards what you want to commit yourself to what you want to work on here okay despite again not knowing you don't know if you take that extra wand you know because of what happened here what's going to happen because all you've experienced right now is being like held captive and beaten okay you're beaten with the nine of wands so yeah, that takes it definitely takes that strength and that courage, Leo. Let's see, um, clarifying for what you don't see coming with the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Four of Swords, sorry, and the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Let's clarify that. Page of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Wow. Okay, what you don't see coming. Look at that. The Page of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. So it's funny. It's like it's going backwards, you guys. Like we were seeing the Nine and the Ten, but it's like it goes Ten, Nine, Eight, Seven of Wands. So it's almost like something's de-escalating almost, like the fog is clearing. Like whatever was really, really foggy is now slowly starting to settle. And I think you just de-escalated some sort of situation here. Um, but what you don't see coming is like, this looks like the offer again, but this is an apology as well. So it's a, it's a, the beginning um, stages of opening your heartstrings up here, like innocent love here, you know, because I mean, this Knight of Cups is the knight in shining armor moving forward with an offer. This is definitely, you know, peace offering. Um, and this is communication again coming through and it does look like an apology or someone extending a cup here. Um, and I feel like it's in regards to that battle. That was the challenge because this is situations of the past, people of the past, relationships of the past, people, places, or things here that we're, you know, still thinking about that have impacted us, that we're emotionally tied to here. Um, and I see what you don't see coming here is you have a fighting chance here. Um, here you still are with your wand, like... You know, because that was your overall energy. We saw the Ace of Wands. And you grab that from the Ten of Wands there in your challenge. And you were like, okay, I'm going to, I have an idea. I'm going to here move forward with this idea and communicate what it is that I want to commit to here. And what it is that I'm looking for in regards to stability. And I feel like this is what you don't see coming is you have a fighting chance. You're in an elevated position here despite all these things coming at you, all these obstacles coming at you, you have a fighting chance here. It's like the underdog able to defend themselves here. I don't know why you need to defend yourself, but I feel like you're defending yourself here. Like it's so much fighting. It feels so exhausting here. Um, I do feel it's your energy. So are you apologizing here? I feel you're in protective mode and you're fighting for something here. I think you're fighting for yourself, but it's in regards to a situation I think that speaks very close to your heart. Okay, this is like soulmate energy here, an experience here, and I feel like you've had to really reflect on something here that's hurt you. I think it's hurt you pretty bad. 
Mm. All right. Well, let's take a look at your let's take a look at your um opportunity. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Strength, and the Ten of Pentacles. And clarifying that, we have the King of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the King of Cups. Opportunity. Okay. The fact that we have the Queen and the King of Cups, these are divine counterparts here, okay? I do feel this is in regards to a relationship because we are seeing what you don't see coming in the Six of Cups. I feel like there's a relationship here, a divine counterpart, someone you're in love with. I feel a deep, deep, deep sense of love here, okay? And I feel like there is um, an opportunity here to come together, to have a union here, okay? This is like marriage, union, celebration, coming together, making things work here. Um, but I feel like your opportunity here is to make it happen, okay? To make it happen, um, and to be empowered to find the strength and the courage to make it happen, to have the confidence that you could make something happen here. Because I think you experienced this and you've been in this state. Okay, um, this isn't good. This is like, ouch. And walking around like this leaves you uncertain, right? But I feel like despite all that, it's like, here comes Leo with your big old heart. Still full of piss and vinegar here and a beautiful inspiration. And I feel like you stay true to what you want here, okay? You stay true to what your value is, what you're committed to, what you want to dedicate yourself to here. And I feel like it is a, a, around working with someone, building something here, a legacy for the future. And so what you don't see coming is like all of this being thrown at you, like all this love, all these offers, these gifts, like this is like, take this, my love, you know, here's my offering, here's my love, here's my apology for all of these things. And like, there's like the soul connection here. And I feel like you are like, defending yourself but i think you don't realize you're on solid ground here like you're seeing all of this as a threat still yeah you see it as a threat and i don't blame you because your challenge is like look at all this threat although you've been fighting and although you still had a breakthrough here and being inspired to still be alive and walk through the fog here in this situation because i don't think you threw in the towel but inside i think you're defensive i think you're like standing your ground here and so your opportunity is you know, how do you find that courage? The King of Wands is very courageous. The King of Wands stands at nothing to get what they want, but King of Wands always goes inwards to find that courage and that willpower to still pull through. And I think you've done this. Um, and I feel like your opportunity in being able to do that is to come together with the divine counterpart that I feel you're in love with here in order to build a legacy together, build from a three of pentacles work together to this 10, which stands the test of time here, this connection. Now let's clarify your challenge um, because your challenge was that nine of wands, 10 of wands, and then that eight of wands. Can you clarify the challenge for Leo? We have the ace of pentacles, justice, and the nine of pentacles. So yeah, it's like the challenge here, that is quite interesting because we saw all wands initially in your challenge and wands is all about action, passion. You know, it's like, um, having the inspiration here. It's also about career and drive. Um, but I feel like here is like having to muster up something here, despite circumstances. And I feel circumstances were like this, not knowing very unclear, all foggy uncertainty. Okay. And so now we're clarifying all that. We got the Ace of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Nine. So I feel like it's like, what is the justice in this situation here? You know, what exactly can my investment here with this Ace of Pentacles build towards here? Um, and is Justice getting to my Nine of Pentacles? And the Nine of Pentacles is your own your own stability, you to stand on your own successful here, despite anybody else. This is like the single card, okay? Somebody who can stand on their own, be successful on their own, who's resulted in 
you know, achieving things on their own here. So I feel like the justice here is spirit saying um, that you might be challenged here in seeing that you can plant the seed here. You can plant the seed here and still find your own security. You can still find your own um, balance here, okay, for yourself. I don't think you you see this as it being bringing justice to you in some way because that is your challenge. So I'm not quite sure how that fits in, but it is in a practical way because this is where we have the opportunity to have a new beginning and to ground something here. And this is like us kind of, you know, like I said, alone, successful doing this. And this is, you know, bringing justice to a situation, bringing balance here. Um, I think you're wanting to bring balance to yourself. I think you're wanting a new beginning to invest in yourself here. And the challenge is now, how do I do this? So this is why you keep fighting, I feel. And that's what you're fighting for. And this feels like a, a nine of pentacles that you're trying to protect because this feels like very alone protecting your nine of pentacles and that's the challenge here so let's look at the advice we'll see advice from spirit so we have the six of pentacles the fool and the judgment advice so the advice here when i see judgment this is us having to take all of the information all of the past situations you know people places and things of the past we're reviewing this now and we're being very honest and we have to remove our ego okay leo sometimes we have pride in the way here but leo could be you know in with ego as well so we're needing to remove that and really look at facts here and i feel i'm getting kind of dual things here it's like taking a look at taking a leap of faith here and a jump but i feel like the jump is you considering because i feel like you get broken free out of something here do i jump away and no longer invest and focus on planting a seed here for myself okay bringing justice to myself because i want a nine of pentacles for me and i'm gonna sacrifice a ten and just be content with my nine because i don't trust whoever put me in this nine and this ten of wands now that i'm in a, a state here of de-escalation because i went from a, a nine ten to an eight seven so I feel like there's no longer this fog or the fog is settling and all you're like, I don't want to stay around what could be fog again. So I could stay in the fog and risk my nine to a 10, or I could celebrate and invest my one pentacle here and build my nine. That's your challenge. Yeah. And your challenge is, do I take that leap of faith and stay in the fog again? Like, even though there's no fog now, there could be a fog later. Do I jump away from investing in this? You know, or do I jump into it? Like, is this something that is going to be rewarding? Is it going to be a give and take here? Am I finally going to be able to work with someone here to build a 10 of pentacles here, a long term? Okay, long term, because what's important to you, again, that came through here, the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. Okay, this is commitment. This is long term. This is father energy. This is in it for the long haul and building something secure that isn't going to get you know, broken because of some fog here. So I feel like your challenge and your advice here from spirit is to really consider the truths here. Are you risking coming out or are you risking going in? So let's pull some more just to see what spirit is suggesting here, because I mean, that leaves it pretty open, but I think spirit wants you to, you know, be the captain of your own ship here, but you do have the, your opportunity is commitment. Your opportunity is coming together, but again, commitment for what? We did see the Ten of Pentacles, so it is an opportunity here. You have to find your willpower and your, your courage. And the King of Wands doesn't know if he's going to win, but he has the confidence that he will. And he has the confidence that he can make things happen here. And in your opportunity, the Queen and the King of Cups, you know, two people in love here. Two people in love. So let's see. Let's just clarify the advice here from Spirit. If we have anything further Spirit wants to add here in regards to your, your advice, Leo, we have the Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and then the Two of Cups. Spirit is so funny. So what does this mean? Well, we see the two twos on either side, which is about making a decision, okay? And that's what I said. Like this judgment is taking everything into consideration, and this is finding balance, the Six of 
of pentacles and remembering your challenge was you were challenged to find the balance here to find the justice in your situation so only you know what your justice is is your justice jumping into that fog i mean the fog i think is gone now i call it the fog because that's what you have experienced and what you don't see coming is your energy you're kind of combative here but also not only are you combative and defensive i also feel like you don't see coming you have the upper hand so you have the upper hand here i think you have a decision to make okay leo and your decision is you can't sit around here um not deciding i think you have to decide okay i think you have to decide here and you have to choose do you want the two of cups here do you want your opportunity here with the king and queen of cups or do you want to play it safe Okay, because this is being held back here and sometimes when we're held back it's because we don't want to lose something that we've built for ourselves so we'd rather stay with the devil we know than take that risk and risk losing something here because we've experienced the fog but this looks very heavy to carry okay this is a held back energy this is staying in our comfort zone even though the comfort zone seems like a burden um but that's the choice we make right so it's like you have now i think it could go either which way here okay and i don't see that the swords are crossed so i feel like you're really contemplating is it this or this and i feel like you're gonna have to get really honest with what that looks like and for all of you guys it's different so spirit's not really saying but i think you have a true opportunity to have a balance give and take here equal reciprocity when it comes to relationship okay and i feel like you've experienced a lot of shiznity here okay like this is not good at all and you've had to claw and fight and bite your way through this so now that you're out it's like well hold on like but i feel like there's still such deep love here so it's like even though you've experienced that it's like leo do you find this like where do you find this you know where do you find this and i'll tell you where you find this in leo because leo is the most passionate sign here and courageous sign and I feel like this brings you this, this brings you this, okay? I really feel like you being able to stand courageous and find that within yourself allows you to work together and collaborate and show up here and transmute any sort of fogs and energies and experiences into something beautiful that is going to stand the test of time here, okay? So that's what I see here for you guys. Beautiful Leo, this was a beautiful reading. I hope this resonated for you. I will see you soon, bye.